What's up guys, today I'm in London and I'm going to be taking the British Pullman train which is the most luxurious and most expensive train in the United Kingdom. The British Pullman is at the peak of vintage luxury travel and is well known for its gourmet dining and themed event, especially its modern mystery dinners, all set in beautifully restored carriages that take you on a journey through time. It's more or less like reliving a history. Yeah. It's one of the things you put on your bucket list. Hundreds of thousands of people from all over the world flock to London for this experience. And for over a thousand dollars, I'm about to find out why and what it feels like to be wealthy and royally pampered. So, following in the footsteps of the Queen, Prince Diana and even Nelson Mandela I'm about to join the elite class of those who have had the pleasure of traveling on the British Pullman. Ah, this is this is soft life. Bro. For this experience, I'll be soaking in, in the sights as I go, indulging in the food and impeccable service, have lunch at one of the most expensive hotels in the UK, and try to get some of my questions answered about the most luxurious train in London. Most of this trip is going to be about me enjoying myself and sharing my experience with you guys, which is a bit different from my usual content that focuses on exploring different countries on a low budget. I'm currently at a station called Victoria and this is where I'm meant to take up the train. I had to leave the house very early this morning and the rain was falling. My train leaves at 8.45. This is one of the major stations they have in London. So there's a lot of people currently commuting to work. Today is a weekday. And once our train starts boarding, we get on it. I grab the cup of coffee for the ride. <laughs> So hey guys, it's time for our train and I'm currently walking to where I'm going to board the British Pullman. <laughs> Can't you see that I'm no good without you? Hey guys, I just came into the lounge area and I got served the fresh apple juice. Uh, this is just to show you <laughs> that today is going to be all about luxury. There's a guy outside that is actually singing and is serenading everybody as they're about to get into the train. Cheers to you guys! <laughs> so guys, I'm just been taken to my carriage now. This is the train beside me and I can already see how luxurious the setting is from outside. It's the first time I'm going to be entering the train like this, so I'm excited! <laughs> so, lovely gentleman's travelling in Minerva today oh. as well. Uh, so this is Debbie, he's going to be looking after you today. Oh, beautiful. Nice to meet you. Okay, cool. Would you like to take a picture of you? Would you like to be in it as well? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh this, this is a big one. <laughs> Can you tell me about the, the train and the carriage? So this is a beautiful British Pullman train, collection of carriages dating from 1926 to 1951. The carriage you're travelling in today is called Minerva. And it's known to us as Sir Winston Churchill's carriage uh, because he traveled a lot of times in Minerva through his life and it also formed part of his funeral train. Sadly, the British climate isn't favoring us today. No sunshine, <laughs> but it's going to be an amazing trip nonetheless. Hope yeah. you have a lovely day on the British. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Woo, so guys, this is a train right here and I'm just going to be jumping into the carriage now. Some minutes before the train actually starts moving, but looks really cool. Man. Looks super cool. The train has started moving. This train ride actually cost me 1,150 bucks for one seat. So if you're coming with somebody else, it's gonna cost you like about 2,300 bucks, which um, we'll figure out if it was worth the experience at the end of the day. We just started our trip and currently I've been given things called Berlin. I don't know what it mixed in it, but it's like some luxury drink. Let me check the menu. What we're having today. Woman. Do you have some tea or coffee? Uh, tea? Tea? Yeah. Tea, yeah. Uh, no, no, we'll just. Uh, is that how it is? 
Yeah. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Here we go. So, fresh English tea. This whole trip is just going to be about me just enjoying myself. This <laughs> A fun fact about this train is that the drink in your cup would never go below a certain level. They would just keep refilling and refilling and refilling. I found this experience really crazy because yesterday I was on a mission to experience London with just $100 and today I am on the most luxurious train in the UK. Unlike that experience, on this train you have to come hungry. The food doesn't stop coming in and even a foodie like me has a limit. I love with freshly baked pastries. I have to yeah, this and this. I like this one more though. It has this sugary taste. And it was just freshly baked, very warm. It's really good. Up next on the menu is smoked salmon with a little bit of caviar. I can't remember when last I ate caviar, which is basically egg fish. Caviar looks like. Mm. Tastes like luxury. Mm. Mm. This is nice. I think one of the best parts about this experience is that you're coming on this train, you're coming for the culinary experience. That means you have to be ready to eat. Like this cup of um, wine, even though it's early in the morning now, uh, I've drunk like three cups already. I'm going to tell you a bit of why it is this way. The British Pullman is an experience founded way back in the 1920s that takes you on a journey back in time with luxury and style. In those early days, it wasn't just about taking you from point A to B, it was mostly about the journey itself. Passengers were treated to fine dining, plush sitting and a service that made you feel presidential. However, as time went by, the age of steam gave way to modern trains and by the 1970s, the golden age of rail travel was over. Then in the 1980s, a passionate group of investors saw the potential for a grand comeback, so they lovingly restored the carriages beyond its previous glory, ensuring that every detail was perfect. Today, the British Pullman is part of the Belmont collection and continues to offer unforgettable journeys and has become the perfect way to step back in time for a few hours. One of the downsides of this train is that because of its vintage nature, there is no Wi-Fi on board. This would have been a problem, but thankfully, I had a hola fly sim. So guys, one of the problems I face whenever I'm traveling to any country across the world is getting access to internet. Most times I go to a place for the first time, I usually don't have any access to internet and I always find it very difficult to find my way to my destination. So I can use Google Maps, I can use Google Translate and I can even call the person I want on WhatsApp and that is a very big problem when traveling. But thankfully, I got the Holafly SIM. Holafly is available in over 190 destinations across the world and it gives you access to unlimited internet. This eSIM is available for Android and iOS users. All I needed to do was to enter my email, select my country, buy a SIM and select the number of days I needed it and click on activate. Voila, I was connected straight to unlimited internet. The Holafly eSIM has been a game changer for me and has made my travel so much more enjoyable. If you would love to support this channel and elevate your trips by getting an eSIM, click on the link below and you get a 5% discount on any plan and destination you choose. Or you can just use the code TIREINA at checkout. Now let's jump right back into the video. So guys, I just went through the train now and it has so many carriages. Each carriage is different from the next one and no two carriages are the same. The British Pullman is a collection of 12 historic carriages and stepping in and out of the carriages was like stepping into the past with its beautiful woodwork patterns and comfy looking seats. This is what one of the carriages looks like. There are multiple seats here. This is a seat for three people. This is where you keep your luggages. And then this is a seat for if you're coming with like your significant other, your wife, your husband, your boo, your bae. <laughs> but let me show you, there's a special carriage here that was designed by Wes Anderson. It looks like, yeah, it's very tiny. <laughs> Guys, this is what the West Anderson carriage looks like. Interestingly, I'm wearing matching colors with it. 
The Cygnus was recently renovated for $1 million and was planned and carefully designed by the famous filmmaker Wes Anderson, who is known for his very unusual visual style. Most of our carriages are close to 100 years old. Ibis, which is through there, is our oldest. Okay. And yeah, so they're all completely individual. Uh, this carriage here, Perseus, has just had a soft furnishings refurb. So new curtains, lamps, mm. chairs, and the carpet. The only things really that have been updated in our carriages is the suspension. And we put refrigerators in the chef's kitchens. Why do you feel people come on this train? What's your... Oh, that's easy, because yeah. it's just it's just escaping the norm. It's like the, the whole kind of experience, you know, to think of how old the train is, how beautiful it is. You're boarding it at Victoria, being taken out of London, and that and it's the whole kind of escaping, yeah. you know, your, your normal day to day. People bought the British Pullman to enjoy a luxurious and nostalgic travel experience. It is simply a way for the rich to relax and for the not so rich to have a momentary feel of luxury. After admiring the carriages, I made my way back to find my seats. But that's when something struck me. I hadn't seen a single other black person on this train. Please, madam, sir, I'll see you now. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. How was it? The way it looks, looks beautiful. <laughs> While I had been fortunate to have a job that lets me experience this, it was a reminder of how rare it is for people who look like me to be able to come into spaces like this or even to be able to afford such luxury. It really made me reflect on the journey that has brought me this far. And just as I was processing that, something incredible happened. You're from Nigeria, right? Yeah, I'm from Nigeria. I've seen you in the uh, YouTube uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Daniel. Daniel, where are you from? Nigeria. Nigeria too. Yeah, oh, I know. I said I've seen Nigeria you on this uh, YouTube. <laughs> Guys, I finally met my Nigerian brother on this train. <laughs> what do you think about the train in general? Can you just tell people out there what they It's more or less uh, it is, uh, like re reliving a uh, history, you know? Yeah. It's one of the things you put on your pocket list. I'm sure you see Impressive. so many fancy people every time. Uh, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. How many, yeah. how many top celebrities are you seen on this train? I can't count. You can't count. Too many. <laughs> too many. <laughs> you find Nigerians just about everywhere you go many of them leaving home just to seek greener pastures. Currently, I'm working on a new documentary that is so dear to me where I'll be covering the lives of some of these individuals, so subscribe to be the first person to know when it goes live. One of the cool parts about this trip is that once we get to the destination, we're going to get on another coach that's going to take us to the Belmont Hotel, which is one of the most luxurious hotels in the United Kingdom. And currently they give me this ticket, it says two, so that means I'm going to be entering coach two to get to the Belmont Hotel. And this hotel, I've seen the pictures, it looks really sick. <laughs> Belmont Hotel was created in 1976 by James Sherwood to offer luxurious travel experiences in some of the world's most beautiful and historic locations, one of which I'll be going to right now to have lunch. Guys, we just got off at the train station. It's raining. Damn. This too? Yes, okay, Thank you. <sighs> After running off the train, <laughs> I eventually made it onto the coach. And this is the coach that takes us to La Manuel Ox. And then we get to the Belmont Hotel, which is one of the most luxurious hotels in the United Kingdom. And then we're going to also have a two-star Michelin restaurant experience. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to take us about 21 minutes to get to our destination. weather is not looking nice at all but yeah finally at the hotel now and walking in want to see what's inside this is a five-star hotel right oh absolutely <laughs> awesome <laughs> So guys, I wanted to show you what the room looks like here and how much it costs. This is one of the suites here and this room costs from $1,000 to $3,000 depending on the time of the year you book it. It looks really beautiful. This is one of the major suites here. Look at how beautiful this looks, guys. <laughs> this is sick. 
It's where the magic happens, or the, where the magic is meant to happen, actually. <laughs> the cost of the rooms in Belmont Hotel varies widely depending on the location, season, and the type of accommodation. Currently, I'm in the garden. This is an open area just behind the hotel. This is the hotel right here. I heard they have a Japanese garden on one side. They also have the herb garden on the other side. So let's go and check out what's in the herb garden. This is kind of like agricultural tourism. So as expensive as the hotel is, the hotel is expensive, but there's also agricultural experience. You can also come and experience right here. Check out this guy. <laughs> Look at this guy. What's up, Scarecrow? One of the reasons why I show this kind of videos is to show you guys what is possible. The potential of what we can harness in Africa if we have the right mindset, you know. Something like this can be built in Africa and we can have a lot of people come to experience it. I know South Africa is one country that does this a lot, but I think other African countries can learn from this and look for ways to build businesses that are sustainable and that can help the community in general. Oh, there's a pond here. <laughs> Let's check out this pond. Experience. Your first time too? Yeah. yeah. My first time too. Yeah. <laughs> so will it get good reviews? Uh, I don't know when I'm done. Uh. <laughs> Guys, this is my name on the table. <laughs> they got my name wrong. It's actually I know, but it was Alina. <laughs> Finally found my table. Uh, it looks really nice, man. <laughs> and then they're gonna serve the food very soon. The beautiful part for trips like this is the people you get to meet along the way and the friends you make. Just like me, the people at my table were from all over the world and came to town for this experience as well. So guys, I just had the most awesome lunch with the most amazing people. Say hi to them. <laughs> Spending time with them and interacting really made my day amazing. So guys, just leaving the hotel now and getting back on the bus. We're gonna have dinner on the Bridge of Pullman train and that should be interesting. <laughs> I'm having so much fun today, mate. Do you have a lovely time? Yeah, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Finally back on the bus and then we're heading back to London. It's gonna take us almost three hours and then we should be back. That's been a great experience so far. <laughs> super excited to be back in London and super excited to try out the dinner. We're gonna have dinner very soon, so super excited to try that out. So guys, I have a 40 pound voucher. I'm meant to pick two of this. I'm meant to be anything that shall amounts to 40 pounds as a gift. And this came with my booking when I booked it. I'm wondering what I'm going to pick though. And I was going to have a cup of champagne. Cheers. Champagne just keeps flowing, man. It just keeps flowing. Life is good. <laughs> Yeah, it seems I have a new companion now. Say hi to my new friend. Belmont. That's the Belmont. <laughs> this is what we're having for kind of like lunch, but it's like almost dinner now because it's 6 30 now at the moment. Um, so I'm having um, cheese with some fruits. And the wine just keeps coming. So you have wine here. I also have a champagne glass here. This is champagne, this is wine. And I still have water. And this is one of the first times I'm going to be taking an experience where 
I'm just trying out something luxurious for a change as opposed to what I usually do where I do like budget travel. I know what you guys think about this kind of content that I think is very important to also make content like this too to also show you guys like when you eventually make money there are so many ways to enjoy life apart from going to spend some money on some random stuff like partying and all of that there are so many ways to experience life you can go on a train you can you know travel get an experience meet new people just do what <laughs> a lot of other people are into and i think that for me that's one of the things that i actually love doing the most and for me i'm very fascinated with trains i also have a lot of other trains i want to try out like the orient express which is really beautiful but super expensive too i hope to try that out maybe sometime this year or next year not only this year hey guys tell me what you think about this in the comment is this something you guys would want to try out but anyway it's going The British Pullman truly isn't about the destination but the journey and I'm going to spend the next few days relieving every minute while I save up to go on the train again. It's a nice bottle of champagne here to uh, oh. enjoy with the beer. Oh, the beer, the beer. You. <laughs> so you've been a pleasure. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. Thank you Thank so you much. I hope to see you again now, yeah? yeah? Sure. Thank you. You take care, you're welcome. <laughs> Guys, I was just exiting the train. <laughs> and they gave me an extra bottle of champagne. <laughs> I guess because they've been seeing me walking around making videos, but that's that's so cool of them. This wasn't even sponsored or anything. I paid for this trip fully and I just wanted to experience it and it's cool that they appreciated me being on board. So I don't know, what do you guys think about the video? What do you guys think about the train? What do you guys think about the experience? You guys should drop your comments in the comment section below. For me, it was an amazing experience. So I would like to hear from you guys. You guys think it's worth $1,100 for this trip. And yeah, guys, that's all I have to share with you today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And also tell me if you want to see more of these kind of videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.